How do you end a short film? We're going to talk about how we ended our film, Star Wars Rivals, which is a Star Wars fan film, and we're going to get into this whole subject of how do you end a short film. There's a lot of ways to do it, but short films give you some unique opportunities that features may not provide. So let's get into how to end your short film. What's up, storytellers and Star Wars fans? I'm Jay Shear, author of the time travel novel Time Slingers, which is behind me on the wall, right next to our upcoming novel, Death of a Bounty Hunter. You're going to want to check that out, I think, because it's awesome. It's a steampunk western with some fantasy elements and even some sci-fi elements to it. Check that out. It's coming out later this year. Also, you might want to consider supporting us on Patreon because after this video is over, I'm going to do a special, even more behind-the-scenes oriented video for Star Wars Rivals. So you might want to become a member of the Story Geeks Club in our VIP tiers and get access to that content for $2 a month. Don't forget, if you want more information on how to write and produce your own fantasy and sci-fi films or books or novels or whatever, subscribe to this channel because that's exactly what we're doing, telling you how we've done it so you can do it as well. Let's dig deeper into how to end your short film. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, we've covered every page of Star Wars Rivals in great detail about how to write this story. Now the question is, how do we write an ending? So we're gonna get into how to write an ending today, but if you haven't watched the previous videos, definitely go back and check out the Screenwriting 101 playlist all about how to write a short film where we talk about Star Wars Rivals, our fan film that we wrote and produced. Before I get into this, I am gonna have you guys watch the segment of the film that we're gonna be talking about so you can see how it ends with the script alongside it. And then we'll dig deeper into talking about why we did it this way. So check this out. Do it now. Prove myself. Jedi are patient, not impulsive. You have both failed this challenge. Your head is waiting on purpose. Sky, you have given in to a path that is very dark and dangerous. However, it is not too late. I can still help you. Do not do this. Sky. Stop. Do not go down the same path as your mother. I will not let this happen again. He wants to control you. Don't hold back. Thanks for watching that. Now, let's check this out. Sky attacks, but Kel is back on her feet. Sky swings, attack after attack. Kel fumes, but is on the defensive. They lock. They'll never accept you. You, Kel gasps, eyes wide. Sky is force choking her. So now Sky is fully in, man. We know a red lightsaber plus a force choke. Dark side behavior. Kel drops her saber, clutches at her throat, falls to her knees. Power courses through Sky's anger. The woman's voice, do it. Before Sky can decide, she freezes, trembling. She's in force stasis. We saw force stasis first before we ever saw anything else um, with Force Awakens and, and Kylo Ren stopping the bolts of uh, laser fire that are coming at him. So this is where Sky is now in force stasis. You saw this just now as we watched the film. Kuthar appears. His hand points at Sky. He force pulls Kel's saber to himself and squares off against Sky. Now you'd expect for someone who's been bullied this entire time, wouldn't you expect him to face off against Kel? But he doesn't know the full story, and this happens sometimes in bullying situations. I want to stop here to say one thing. 
in our spoiler-filled video that I'm going to get into on Patreon, I'll explain why this is the biggest disagreement that the three writers of the film had. But to see who won the agreement and what actually ended up being filmed, <laughs> check out our Patreon account, become a member of the Story Geeks Club, one of our VIP tiers, and you'll get into that story. Because it's a really good story about how producers and writers and directors work together, and they don't always agree and aren't always on the same page. So it's a good behind-the-scenes video that you guys can check out on our Patreon account. And if you're already a Story Geeks Club member, Thank you for being a club member. We appreciate you. Kuthar appears. Kuthar says to Sky, what are you doing? A change comes over Sky. She's shocked. She looks at her sister. And then she says, I had to prove myself. And then Kuthar says, Jedi are patient, not impulsive. You've both failed this challenge. Sky is now realizing what's going on, says, you were keeping us waiting on purpose. Kuthar nods. Kel looks at him, surprised. Kuthar says, Sky, you've given in to a dark and dangerous path, but it's not too late. I can still help you. So Kuthar's reaching out to Sky. Sky looks from Kuthar to Kel. Kel glares back, hateful. Sky hesitates, turns off her saber, and turns to walk away. She realizes in this moment, and you have to get this, is that when she's looking at Kel, she realizes that she and Kel are still not reconciled. They're still not a good relationship between them. And she doesn't think she can keep going if Kuthar is going to try and bring them back together because she sees the look on Kel's face. Kuthar says, don't do this. Sky doesn't look back. Kuthar says, Sky, stop. Don't go down the same path as your mother. I can't let that happen. Now, that's a big point where the story doesn't match the script either. And I'll talk about that some more on the Patreon video. But just know that we didn't capture that dialogue very well. And this is, again, something where you're, you're producing a short film, you're trying to get all the dialogue, you're trying to get everything, but sometimes you just miss a line, the line doesn't sound good because you got background audio going on, maybe a car drove by. Well, cars are not in Star Wars lands, so that's a problem. Um, and so if those kind of things happen, sometimes you miss dialogue. So at the very end of the film, when you hear Kuthar's last piece of dialogue, that's actually a voiceover that happens later. That means that we made a mistake. We did not get the full context of the dialogue that was supposed to occur, verbally and then we had to actually go back on that um that's not a that was a, a, a solution that we needed because we needed that last line from kuthar but it doesn't quite sound right because we've never been able to hear kuthar's internal monologue before so why in the world are we hearing it at that last point in the film it's not ideal but we we rolled with it we did what we could um after kuthar says i can't let that happen then what happens is sky stops kel's eyes widen there's a beat that passes Kuthar starts to walk towards Sky, and we hear Sky's mom say, He wants to control you. Don't hold back. So we've been telling her this whole time. It's a very Sith type of mentality. Let your passion guide you to victory, right? Sky turns around, rage in her eyes, and then she ignites her saber. Full dark mode. Okay, so let's talk about this. That's the end of the film. When you're writing a short film, the ending is really important. I said at the beginning of the video that with short films, a lot of times endings can be uh, more creative than they can be in long form features. Now, of course, that's not actually true. You can make your ending in a feature film as creative as you want to. But technically speaking, most people, if they're gonna invest the time and effort into a feature film, want the ending of that film to be something that the audience is happy about, that they leave this, the theater experiencing the full width and breadth of the story. Short films have a little bit more latitude because they're cheaper to produce, which means you can get a little bit more storytelling creativity involved. For us, one of the things that we really wanted to showcase when it comes to bullying is that sometimes someone who is bullying another person can cause that other person to become a bully. And we've seen this in real life a bunch of times. Part of this story was my wife was getting bullied. I then stepped in. And I realized that when I stepped in, I stepped in and got so angry that I was then starting to become Sky. I was starting to turn to the dark side just because I was trying to protect my wife. And I'm not saying I shouldn't protect my wife. Of course, that's a whole different story. But in this story, the person being bullied, if they give in to anger, if they give in to fear, which leads to anger, which leads to hate, which leads to suffering, and suffering is the path to the dark side... If that happens, that's a negative thing. That's a tragic occurrence. In this story, we wanted to create a tragedy. We wanted this story to end at a place where you had to go, oh, I got to think about that for a minute. 
this isn't your normal bullying PSA where it's like you shouldn't bully people. This is what actually can actually happen in the real world. This story comes out of personal experience and the experience of others. My point being this, how to end your short film is really up to you, but it should grasp hold of all the things that has embodied the story, has embodied the concept of the premise of the story that you're putting out there. In this case, our story needed to end in a tragic way to communicate that wow, we really need to think deeper about this. Not only for bullies to think deeper about how they're treating people, which they should, but also about the people who are getting bullied and how they respond. Because we don't want them to keep getting bullied, but we also don't want them to turn down a dark and twisted path trying to escape that bullying. And so what we do is we leave the audience in tension at the end of the film going, yeah, this, this is not good. So let's watch the film one more time. We don't, by the way, we don't get standing ovations at the end of this film. But let's watch the film one more time. I'll put the screenplay up next to it, as I've been doing, and just watch how this kind of all plays itself out. Do it now. Prove myself. Jedi are patient, not impulsive. You have both failed this challenge. Your head is waiting on purpose. Sky, you have given in to a path that is very dark and dangerous. However, it is not too late. I can still help you. Do not do this. Sky. Stop. Do not go down the same path as your mother. I will not let this happen again. He wants to control you. Don't hold back. So there you have it. Short film, Star Wars Rivals, also a fan film. Uh, we actually entered this in the Star Wars Fan Film Awards. We didn't win anything, but it was entered in the Star Wars Fan Film Awards. This is about bullying. Our concept was that bullying can end in tragedy. Even our own, even when we're strong and capable, if we're bullied for long enough, sometimes it can be, we can become enraged. And Star Wars allows us to say that's basically turning to the dark side. We don't want to do that. We don't want to see Sky end up where Sky ends up. That's bad. That's not a good thing. And so we wanted people, when we ended this film, to think about that and even come up with their own endings for how this could have been different, how this could have changed. And I think it's really cool because, um, shout out to Corey, but Corey wrote to me after seeing this film and was like, hey, I really like this film because Corey had been experiencing some bullying himself. And to him, it was like a real life example of how this plays itself out when people are bullied. And so we, I think we were able to impact some people who have been bullied through this story. A bunch of people, and thank you very much for saying this, have commented that they would love to see us do a sequel to Star Wars Rivals. And maybe someday we'll be able to, at least if it's uh, maybe even an audiobook version of it. But uh, that's Star Wars Rivals. That's the ending. The ending is not your traditional story ending. It's a very different story ending, but it's where we felt like we needed to end the story so that people could think about the implications of bullying. That was core to our premise. So I hope you, I hope that prompted you to think about that as well. Whenever someone views it, like in an audience, we generally speaking don't get a lot of applause because nobody wants to see that character turn to the dark side. They want to see that character have a redemption arc. And we wanted to pause there and say, but think about it. And a lot of short films do that. So if you're working on a short film and it's not a Star Wars short film, think about how the ending can, can leave people with something where they want more. 
how, how the ending can leave people thinking, oh, yeah, what is that all about? Short films are really good at that. So how do you end a short film? Think about putting the audience in a place where they're thinking about what the story means after it's all said and done. A lot of the best short films out there have that sort of ending. If you can work in a full character arc, a redemptive character arc, that's great too. And sometimes the surprise ending is really great. But I would say for most short films, leave the audience going, whoa, what is that all about? And even wanting more. Thanks for watching this video. As I talked about on Patreon, I'm gonna talk about some of the more of the behind the scenes stuff that happened here. Some of the disagreements between the directors and the writers and the producers, and also some of the ways that we had to work things into the script at the last minute as we're trying to film this thing. So check that out by becoming a member of the Story Geeks Club at the VIP tier, it's only $2 a month. The link to that is down in the description below. Thanks for your support, we really appreciate it. If you want more videos like this talking about fantasy or science fiction storytelling, please subscribe to this channel. We're here to help you write and produce your own science fiction and fantasy stories, just like we've done ours. Time Slingers and Death of a Bounty Hunter, written and produced by us. So we wanna help you do the same thing. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks for checking out our channel. Thanks for checking out this video. And just remember, in that story in a way that people want all kinds of more stories from you. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.